G'day folks, it's Rob and Kira here and welcome to our Backyard Farm and Aquaponics YouTube channel. Today we're going to be emptying out another pouch of sweet potatoes that we've had growing in the backyard for quite a few months now. Uh, these little fellas were actually growing in front of the aquaponics system and I thought it'd be interesting to give you folks a look at how they were planted out last October. So this here is the potting mix that I'll be putting into the root pouches. It's a very light one. I've deliberately added in some more perlite just to keep it nice and light so it doesn't get too clumpy and gluggy. I've also cut back on my compost ratio. So I've got roughly round about, um, what did I work out? About 90 litres worth of this potting mix in here. And I've added in roughly round about 10 to 15 litres of my own compost, uh, about 10 litres of the perlite, and also some other amendments like I've put in some kelp, dried um, sea kelp as well for the micronutrients and also added in a decent amount of the organic uh, chicken for chicken based fertilizer pellets. They're basically going to act as a bit of a slow release fertilizer in here. So this is pretty much all the mix. Um, I have a feeling it should be rich enough and loose enough for the potatoes. For the sweet potato I'm using a um, 15 gallon or what is it round about 56 litre and I'll be popping in a couple of these slips. It's pretty basic really. I'll be filling up the root pouch outside so I don't spill too much soil into the tray itself. He says as he spills soil into the tray. So I'm just going to bounce this pouch just to settle the potting mix a bit. That looks like a good level. What I'm going to do is um, pop two down that far at the back here. Thank you very much again to Brendan by the way for the dibber. Absolutely awesome tool for something like this. Now I'm just going to snip off these leaves quickly that will be covered by soil. I think this slip here might need to come up a little bit further. And we'll continue to put some soil in. Uh, these guys we were growing primarily for greens, but it's time to upend them and see what sort of a root harvest we're going to get from them mainly because the um, grasshoppers have gotten to them, so have the little uh, metallic flea beetles, as well as a few mites. Um, and we, snails. And snails. And snails, apparently. So we've already snipped the, um, the vines off of these guys, and Kira's my muscle, and she's um, given me a bit of a lift, and we've just brought them over here to the tarp where we can yeah, empty them for you to have a bit of a gander. So this is the uh, pouch that we're going to be harvesting. So we have this one over the back, uh, under some of those dead leaves and this one at the front. This one's got a decent looking stem to it so we might end up with something from that and likewise with this one we'll just have to wait and see so rightio we'll tip her over and away we go. Look at his luscious hair. <laughs> You're a wombat. Before we get going Kira might just uh, want to chop off all these vines for us. Oh lady beetle. Is a lady beetle? Lady beetle. I'll give her to me and we'll, well, ah, oh, where are you love? Come here, come on, on the fingers. There you go, over on the grass. There you go, you just sniff them and I'll pull them off, sweetie. It's all good. Now it's been a little bit wet here over the last um, couple of days, so the soil's gonna be a bit manky, I think. A lot looser than the last lot, that's for sure. So we might be able to actually Shake some of this soil out. Straight away, potato. Oh. Already it's looking a little bit better, isn't it? Uh-huh. And this soil is a lot more friable than the stuff out the front. Oh, did I get you in the face? <laughs> I'm sorry. Just blow my eye. Wow, I'm I'm very impressed with this harvest, folks. So just to show you, these roots grow to the outside of the pouch and then that's pretty much all it. They could grow through here if they wanted, but what happens is they get to the outside, uh, they hit the drier air and they pretty much will prune themselves off, hence air pruning. But you do get some parts like this with these root pouches where the pouch is sitting up against another pouch. I'd say this is probably the eggplant side and because it's moist on the outside, the roots will grow through but then as soon as they grow around the side and they hit the atmosphere, they pretty much will die off. I have found that on the base, um, when they're sitting in the trays of water, we do get a fair few roots growing through. 
but that's understandable. Um, they grow through and then just under the pouch because there's a lot of moisture down there. So yeah, they're great, definitely great for containing the roots. I'm actually going to be running a trial in the aquaponics with some tomatoes in these very soon. But anyway, back to the sweet taters. So we're just gonna dig through this pile of soil and roots. We'll collect all the sweet potatoes and come back and show you the yield at the end. So there we go, folks. Not a bad little harvest at all. Very disappointing on the number of spuds. We only got the four. Um, there were a few little thinner bits, but I'm not gonna worry about them. When compared to the weight from the last harvest, um, earlier on in the week or late last week, definitely outclassed them. 2.7 kilos, which works out to be about six pounds. Kerry did the conversions. So um, definitely a nice little haul there and outclass the last harvest. You may have noticed the last ones, they were very hairy, um, fine roots everywhere. These guys, nothing like that whatsoever. So I don't know if it's coming down to the variety of potato or whether you know it had something to do with the amendments in the soil. Definitely we'll be growing them again. I've already commandeered one of the glasses Maya left here and we'll grow a couple of slips and just pop them in the root pouch at the back door here and have them growing up there through winter. So I hope you've enjoyed this little bit of a look at a sweet potato harvest. Um, the next lot of sweet potatoes we'll be harvesting will be when I pull these guys out of the root pouch. Hopefully it'll be at the end of winter. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there'll be a decent amount of tubers there. If you do like these sort of backyard farming and the odd harvest clip and aquaponics clips and you want to see more land in your email inbox, all you got to do is click on my hairy little mug down there and you'll be sent notifications whenever I upload a clip to YouTube. You can come along and say g'day. I do hope you're all well and happy and you have enjoyed the clip and I will catch you next time. Kira might as well. We'll just wait and see. Yeah. Cheers all. Have a tough one.